In this video, we're going to again talk about editing feature lines, but this time we're going to talk about editing elevation information for feature lines. So just as we did in the last video for horizontal alignments, we're going to go ahead and go to the feature line that we have created along this property boundary. I'm going to select it, and in the contextual ribbon bar, next to the edit geometry, we have edit elevations. So inside of the edit elevations command, you have the options for elevation editor, which elevation editor gives you all of the information on your current feature line, what the station is at a specific point, what the elevation is at that specific point, and then what the length is to the next point, and then what the grade ahead is to that point, and then when you're on another point, it'll give you the information for the grade back to the previous point. Right now we only have two points, so this isn't providing much great information for us other than the fact to notify us that both of our points in this feature line so far are at elevation zero. Moving on from here, you can insert additional elevation points or delete elevation points using these two commands here, and then we get into the more nuanced commands. One of my favorite commands that I have inside of Civil 3D is to drape feature lines across the surface. So this command right here, elevations from surface, what it effectively does is when your feature line crosses a tin line, it will assign an elevation to your feature line based on what the elevation of that tin line is. So what I can go ahead and do is I can select elevations from surface. It will ask me what elevation or what surface I want to base my elevations on. I'm going to go ahead and tell it EG. I am going to insert uh, intermediate grade breakpoints because that is basically where my feature line crosses a tin line and then I am going to hit OK. I could do it relative to the, to the surface and say, you know, give it a plus or minus relativity to the surface, but I'm going to go ahead and just drape it directly onto the surface. So I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to select my feature line and it's showing me all the circles are new elevation points that are going to be added to my feature line. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And now, if I go to the elevation editor, what you'll see is I have a lot more data in here. Um, it has basically every station that one of those dots was added to and what elevation that dot was added at. And it has also modified my zero, zero station and my final station to be on the elevation of my surface. So that's why I like this command the most. It's, it's very robust, it helps with creating feature lines for creating match lines or for creating boundaries for a new surface that I want to have interact with an old surface. But moving on from here, what you have in here is you have quick elevation edit. So you can basically move along the line and choose either a specific elevation at a point. As you can see, I'm hovering near a point and it gives me a circle that is saying you can click there and then modify that elevation or it's giving me an arrow that I can choose which direction I want to modify the grade between points. So that is great because it's a quick way to edit elevations as you move along the line. Then we move on to the edit elevations where we're basically going to choose elevations and, and basically move along the line at each individual point. Then we move on to the next which is set grade slope between points. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna say specify your start point and then your end point and it's gonna ask you, so you can edit the grade or the gradient between multiple points or just two points together. So I could select this point and then it says specify elevation. I can accept the current elevation and then I can move along and I can set a constant grade between any of these points as I see fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit escape and we move on to the next point, which is insert high low elevation point. This is important because basically you can decide what elevation you want to be a high point for your feature line. So I can set that point and then I can specify the end point. I can specify that end point and then I can specify a grade ahead. I'm gonna say 23. And then I can specify a grade back and I can say 15. And then it will insert a high or a low point based on those gradients. So moving on from there, uh, we can go ahead and look at our raise and lower by reference, which will basically raise and lower that feature line based on a certain reference. Set elevation, so you can set a specific elevation based on a reference. You can get adjacent elevations by reference. You can also extend grades. 
and then you can raise and lower the entire feature line based on a specific call. So moving on from here, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to delete out some of these elevation points, delete out the intermediary elevation points in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert an elevation point somewhere close to this contour right here. I know that that contour is around 190, so I'm gonna say 190 for that elevation. And then I'm going to insert another point and I'm going to do it at this contour over here. And I am going to give it an elevation of 190. And so what you'll see happen now is when I look at my feature line and I go to the elevation editor, you will see that I have starting at zero plus zero zero, which is over here. I move with elevations until I get to my 190 here. And then I have another 190 point, which is on the other side of here. So this whole line segment between here and here will be at 190. And then the rest of the information is draped on the surface.